Hey friends, Chris here, and before I start this video, I wanted to say a couple things. First of all, Alloy Bean, we love you, and we will always love you, and you are still our homie for life, even if you did have to leave the channel for reasons for which we all support you. And also, Cephium, you're a badass, and you're awesome, and we love you also, and I can't wait till you're back. Um, and this week's topic is dating and relationships. So, I have actually not dated anyone since I've come out as gender fluid, um, but I'll tell you guys about my first relationship because I feel like it's important um, for a lot of you, especially the younger ones, to hear about. So, when you hear the phrase abusive relationship, you have an idea of hitting being involved and like very like blatant abuse, you know, not like anything that's like, I don't know, I didn't even think of it as abusive until it was pointed out to me later in life. Um, but basically it started out nice. Um, he was a really great boyfriend in the beginning and we really liked each other and it was great. Um, and at the time, when the relationship started, I was 14 and he was 16. Um, yes. Uh, and. I don't know, I was excited, it was my first, like, love, and it was very great, and, and it was great for a while, I don't want to, like, discredit that. Um, and then, at a certain point, he began, well, physically, we moved along further in the relationship, past points that I was ready for, but, you know, for reasons of things that have happened to me in the past, it was, I was a bit slower to go forward, and, and his reasoning was, well, you should push past that, you know? Um, it's, you know, you're not going to move on past it if you just let it hold you down forever. It was all things that were pseudo-supportive but were really a means to an end for him. Um, he wanted something that I wasn't ready to give him. And it got to a point where it was, well, if we don't have sex by our one year anniversary, I can find it somewhere else. And, and one day I straight up asked, like, what would you say if I wanted to wait until marriage to lose my virginity? And he was like, I don't even want to think about that. And basically made it very clear it was either have sex or break up. And so I did. Um, it's not a decision that if I had the mental space that I'm in now, it's not a decision I would have made. But I didn't want him to break up with me. And, um, and yeah, the relationship became all about sex. And he would put me down sometimes in ways that were just subtle enough that it didn't feel like abuse to me. It didn't seem like because I was like, well, he loves me. He wouldn't hurt me. But the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter if people love you or not. You know, love doesn't stop people from abusing people. Um, and it just became manipulative and a really bad situation. And I did get out of it when I was 16. I was like, okay, cords cut. This is done. We're finished. Um... And I don't even think, to be honest, that he realized he was being abusive, that the behaviors that he was exhibiting were abusive behaviors. Um, and I think if I were to say it to him now, he'd be confused and just genuinely wouldn't believe that he was abusive because it's not something that either of us were aware of. Um, it was, we were both pretty, like, young and naive about relationships, and now, in the place that I'm in now, I would never let someone treat me the way that he treated me. Um, but it did start out good. It did start out really good. Um, he was super supportive and sweet and kind and willing to take his time with me and at some point it changed and I was reading some of my old diaries from that time and gosh, if I saw someone I love in a relationship like that, I would tell them to get out and I'm really glad that I did. Um, so I guess my point with this video is, um, pay attention to what's going on in your relationship, pay attention to your instincts. If something feels wrong, then don't ignore that, you know? Um, if you're considering having sex with someone just to shut them up, which are words that I used in my diary, um, don't leave that relationship. Explain that you're not comfortable with it and explain your boundaries and be very firm with your boundaries. Because at the end of the day, it's your body and it's even other parts of relationships, only do what you're ready for. It's no one else's job to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. Um, and yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, you can talk about your past relationships, if you've ever been close to someone that's been in a relationship like that, or if you've ever been. 
Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you think that you're in a relationship that might be unhealthy, of course, feel free to email me and I'll talk to you about it. But trust your gut because you're probably right. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Um, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And uh, I'll see you next Friday.